is by bringing the values of God and making it a visible reality that people will be able to engage with in the earth. They have brought us back. We are back. We are not living again. We are not sinners again. We are not of the order of the first Adam again. We are of the order of the second Adam. Praise the Lord. The second Adam is what? A life given spirit. When he brought us back, we became living spirits. Praise the Lord. Aha. Our soul came alive again. We came alive again. And began to feed and learn righteousness. Learning the manners of the kingdom. Learning the reign of God. Learning how he reigns inside of us first. For the kingdom is within you. And how he seeks to govern. How he has prescribed you will govern the earth. Hallelujah. Through us. Through us. We are learning it. And it's time for us to begin to discharge that which we have learned. The pride that which we have learned. Hallelujah. By bringing forth the government of God. His fire of influence. Forth in us. Around us. Within families. Within businesses. As we engage. We display God. As we engage. We drop God. Hallelujah. We are back. Never to live again. We are back. Never to live again. Shall we be right? Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you have made us. We thank you for who you have made us. We thank you for the blood of reconciliation. We honor the greatness of your name, mighty God, because you have brought us back. Out of your own mess, you have brought us back. And we show, Father, that we are nothing without you. Because outside of you, we are nothing. And we show, Almighty God, and declare that of our own, we have no power. We are useless. But you in us is what makes us who we are. And we say, Father, that as we have been brought back to you, we humble ourselves to live, to live righteousness, to live the ways of the kingdom, to live the ways of our God, that it becomes the government that rules our lives, that it becomes the final authority over our lives. Final authority over every situation that we never face so long. That we know that you care for us already. That you will not allow us to be put to shame on us. That you have taken us out of the government of this world, which is under Satan. And you have brought us back into your kingdom. We are not just under you in the kingdom. But you are training us to be the manifestations of your kingdom. That will bring forth the manifestations of your kingdom. And we say, Father, let your government rule of the truth in us. Let your government rule in us. Let your government govern our situations. Let your government, oh Lord, become reality, the reality in our lives. Let it become the reality in our lives, oh Lord. Let it become the reality in our lives. Let it become our new name. The government of God become our new name, oh Lord. May it govern our going out and our coming in. May it govern our families. May it govern our businesses, our vocations. May it govern our services. May it govern our engagements. May it govern everything that we have and everything we will do, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, you faithful God. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen.